Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back and we are back again with the latest Nintendo NX discussion. <laughs> and uh, this time it's coming from our buddy over there in France, Julian Chize from Gameblog. Now this is the third rumor uh, post that he has written concerning the Nintendo NX over the last three or four months. And he's a journalist and for this popular website. And I know a lot of people think that's just clickbait and things like that, but this is pretty consistent for at least it hinting at the Nintendo NX being a home console variant, at least, you know, because we know Nintendo has said multiple devices many times. They've had uh, form factors that they've talked about with the NX uh, being uh, different types of devices. And this rumor comes from them, and it's basically talking about a home console, most likely, obviously, because. The rumors in the past that this site has reported has been that the NX is more powerful than PlayStation 4, and then they also posted that the NX is closer to the Neo in power, and now they have this article today which they said that the NX would run ports from the PlayStation 4 very easily, and it runs Unreal Engine 4 and Unity basically flawless. And they said that the architecture of the NX remains secret for now, but it is different. The overall architecture is different, is what they're reporting. Now, don't be confused here, guys. The overall architecture of the NX does not mean the CPU, because the article definitely did not say anything about the Nintendo NX CPU at all. All it said is that the overall architecture was different than the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, which makes sense because the architecture of Xbox One is different from PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 architecture is different from PC, and so on and so forth. And the reason why I say that, it's the design of the console itself inside the console. The architecture, the design of it is different. PlayStation 4 has a unified memory pool for its RAM and its, its GPU and CPU, and the Xbox One has uh, ES RAM, which is kind of like the Wii U's RAM, how it does it using a separate chip and getting extra uh, you know, bandwidth from that. So that is what they are talking about here. Overall architecture is different. It's not talking about CPU. So obviously we've seen the leak uh, recently from those developer profiles that Happy Nintendo Fan has uh, shared privately, of course, and now they've been deleted or removed from the internet. But we definitely saw that the NX has some type of x86 architecture running for the CPU in a new dev kit that a developer is working on for Nintendo. The article did say, of course, that, that the NX would need optimization of these ports to run on the NX pretty well, which is true for all consoles. Now, so it's not gonna just be another PlayStation 4 that Nintendo is releasing, obviously. It's a different system with a different architecture design. So whatever way Nintendo has designed the system is different from the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. They have their own Nintendo type design. Whatever RAM they're using is probably different. Whatever type of CPU you know, and GPU combo that they're using is a different structure than the other systems. But I do believe the NX will use x86 based on the things that we've seen recently. It's just all pointing to that. Now of course the power range of this has been debated back and forth. Now the Eurogamer article is saying that the NX has some type of Tegra powered uh, GPU and that is much much less powerful than the PlayStation 4 so to run ports from the PlayStation 4 easily There's no way that this article from Gameblog is talking about the handheld variant It's this rumor from Gameblog is very consistent They're consistently saying this type of stuff basically that it's PS4 level or above It's what their consistency has been That leads me to believe and obviously that the NX is multiple devices a dedicated home console and a dedicated handheld system and that dedicated handheld system that the one that Eurogamer is reporting on has the ability to plug into your TV and play on your TV as well if that is to be believed but it looks like we have two completely different types of rumors here and you know so they're probably both true in some sense and maybe there's some incorrect information in both of them who knows but I do really believe that there is multiple devices for the NX. Also as a side note, that happy Nintendo fan, he uh, basically admitted on Twitter today that he has developer contacts and he said that the NX quote unquote would destroy the PS4 <laughs> in terms of power, but hey, that's just what he's saying. Maybe he's using a little bit of his own fanboyism in there saying that the NX would destroy the PS4. Uh, I don't personally believe that's the case. It doesn't, 
yeah, really line up with what Nintendo does as far as making a system that's way overly powerful than the other competition. I would say, in my opinion, the NX would be more like more powerful than PS4, maybe not quite as powerful as Neo. That's, you know, my conservative estimate. But however, he did admit that he has developer contacts today on Twitter, and I thought that was interesting since he does have access to private information, and it's pretty logical to see that this dude <laughs> does have some contacts like that. So take it for what you will, this is a rumor. Just like all the other information we've been hearing, it's a rumor until Nintendo shows the system, but there is evidence to see that the NX has possibly a home console and a dedicated handheld unit. As far as what they can do and how powerful they are and all the features, we, we don't know 100% for sure, but there is evidence to see that there's x86 possibilities, there's AMD possibilities, and even possibly some type of NVIDIA possibility for the handheld unit, according to these rumors. Even though I personally don't believe it, I'm not going to completely discredit it for the handheld variant of the NX. So that's my opinion, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe and comment, and I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next video. Take care.